Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 applied paper. Here we're looking at question 7. A wooden crate of mass 20 kilograms is pulled in a straight line along a rough horizontal floor using a handle attached to the crate. The handle is inclined at an angle alpha to the floor in the figure 1 shown um, where tan of alpha is equal to 3 over 4. The tension in the handle is 40 newtons. The coefficient of friction between the crate and the floor is 0.14. The crate is modelled as a particle and the handle is modelled as a light rod. Using the model, find the acceleration of the crate. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is sort out the tan alpha. Now, if tan alpha is 3 over 4, then we have an alpha angle here, 3 over 4. That's opposite over adjacent, so 5 up here. So therefore, cos alpha is equal to 4 over 5 and sin alpha is equal to 3 over 5. So whenever I need to resolve my forces, I know what sine and cos are equal to. So let's start resolving this force here, the 40 Newton force. Um, let's just put the 20 g force in force. That's the weight of the, um, the weight of the particle on the ground. And let's resolve this force here. We've got part horizontal, part vertical force. We've got an angle alpha here. We treat the 40 as the value on the hypotenuse. And now we need to work out these opposite and adjacent sides. If you work it out, this one's going to be 40 sine alpha. And this one here is going to be 40 cos alpha. And then remember that cos alpha and sine alpha are these values up here. So we'll use that later on. Now the value of R, the reaction force between the ground and the particle, is going to be positioned here. Um, but if we look at the total upwards forces and the total downwards force, we can see that when we resolve our forces upwards and downwards, we're going to get R plus 40 sine alpha um, equals 20 G. Now the particle is not moving up and down, so the forces upwards must match up with the forces downwards. Um, so therefore what we now know is that R is equal to 20G minus 40 sine alpha. And if we work that out using G is 9.8, 20 times 9.8 minus 40 times 3 fifths, uh, that's going to give us 172. So the reaction force between the ground and the particle is 172. And what you might be thinking is, why have I worked that out? Because there is evidently friction in this model. Now the frictional force will be acting in the opposite direction to acceleration or the opposite direction to movement. Uh, so the friction is going to be acting to the right. And the formula for friction is equal to mu times r. Now mu we're just given as 0.14. And we've just worked out what R is equal to, 172. So that was the motivation behind working out what the reaction force was equal to. So times that by 0 0.14, and we get 24.08. So that's the force of friction acting to the left. Now what we're going to start to do is resolve our forces taking the right-hand direction as positive. It's going to be 40 cos alpha, that's this force here going to the right, subtract this frictional force, that would be 24.08, and this will equal, this is force equals mass times acceleration. So the mass here is 20 times acceleration. Let's now calculate this left-hand side, it's going to be 40 times 4 fifths, and then minus the 24.08, and that's going to give us 7.92 equals 20A. And then divide both sides by 20. That's going to give us our acceleration of 0 0.396. So A equals 0 0.396 meters per second squared. And there we are, that's our answer to the question here. We've found the acceleration of the crate. So it's a question about resolving forces, working out what friction is, and then doing an F equals MA formula to work out the value of the acceleration. Let's move on to the next part then. So the next question here has the um, arrow of 40 and a different angle here. It previously was going up in this direction. Now it's coming down in this direction here. The crate is now pushed along the same floor using the handle. 
The handle is again inclined to an angle of alpha on the floor and the thrust is on the handle at 40 newtons um, as shown in figure 2 above or below in this case. Uh, explain briefly why the acceleration of the crate would now be less than the acceleration of the crate found in part A. So we want to explain why there's now going to be less acceleration. It's probably going to be because there's more friction. If we actually work out what R is equal to, now R is going to be equal to 20G. R equals 20G plus this force going, acting down here, that's going to be 40 sine um, sine alpha acting downwards so therefore as the R value as the reaction force has increased so will friction resulting in less acceleration so will friction resulting in less acceleration. Okay, so there we are. So that's the answer for question seven there, worth eight marks in total. Let's now move on to question eight.